hey guys welcome to another experiment video in today's video we will try to debloat the windows 11 with a windows 10 debloater now a debloater is something which removes all the pre-installed application which which came with the windows so you can use this on windows 10 of course without any problem but today we will be trying uh, to use this and see if it works in windows 11 all right so let me first to download the debloater i will be using the sinex windows 10 debloater uh, the link will be in the description if you want to use it on windows 10 so let me download it from here and here we already downloaded it so let me extract it to desktop just like that and it got extracted in the desktop so here you can see it okay so we have uh, three files here which are required so uh, we will be trying the gui version which is this one windows 10 debloater gui so we'll right click it and then then run with powershell actually we need to run it as administrator but let's just okay that doesn't work right click run with powershell and then so as you can see here we have this debloater and then we can customize block list remove all bloatware remove bloatware with custom block list and then we have cortana aspdf then dark theme and then other changes fixes so we can uninstall one drive unpin tiles from a start menu disable telemetry tags remove bloatware res kits so first we will try to remove all bloatware which we have here so let's click on that and then as you can see uh, it's doing its work here in the background and it is doing its job very nicely i mean okay so it opened the file explorer and now as you can see it it tried to unpin the tiles from the start menu it worked for a second but okay uh, it's doing its job so i don't know what's happening uh, the tile gets removed and then they come back next moment uh, let's wait for the debloater to finish its job wait it says finished all tasks which means uh so there we got some error disable seduced schedule the dual task access is denied uh so probably it needs administrator for per administrator permission to do that i guess so it tried to unpin the tiles from the start menu but they came back the next moment so now we can quit this i suppose okay so i don't know what that did it seem to be working but let's try again so how do we run this as administrator so let me go properties security uh, there is no any option to do that so let me just go over here and then search for powershell windows powershell so right click and then run as administrator yes and then now i will try to open this here drag and drop that didn't work i guess okay that does not work so let me just open it once again run with power cell and then once again we have here so let me uh do we even have cortana here let me just search for c yes we have cortana open it and uh, it works so if we click disable cortana disabling cortana cortana has been disabled now c o r so if we open this uh it still works i don't know so we have ace pdf that's for the microsoft ace browser to view pdf uh, to enable viewing pdf or disable viewing pdf we don't necessarily need that and we have the dark theme so if we click enable uh, it enables uh, the this title bar got black with the start menu is still same let me see explorer so all of this okay it's just destroyed i mean half is white and half is black so that is not working properly and then we have uninstall one drive over here so let's try that uh, you can see here i have one drive one drive is up to date now uninstall one drive files found within the one drive folder and oh my god uh windows powershell is downloading from one drive okay it's a, it is saying please wait over here so let's wait uh do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device of course i want so stopping explorer uh, removing one drive from windows explorer removing leftover files one drive has been successfully uninstalled so now you can see here there is no one drive icon over here so let's search for one drive so as you can see uh it doesn't show us one drive so we successfully removed one drive and then we have unpinned tiles from a start menu so let's do that again let's see if that works unpinning all tiles from the start menu so uh, it's just stuck over there with uh, as you can see the windows start menu do not have any tiles now so i don't think that would work okay 
and then we have disable telemetry task so let's click that and it's uh, it's once again showing errors stopping and disabling wap post service okay so it still works remove plot where there is keys let's try that and i think we already did that uh it still works so overall uh, the debloater still works in windows 11 regardless of the version now i am beginning to doubt if this is windows 11 or windows 10 itself with some modification from microsoft okay so let me restart and see if the cortana gets removed or not so let me search for cortana here we already have cortana we try to remove it before now i will have to restart and then see if it gets removed on restarting so here i go okay so i restarted now let's see over here okay cortana still exists so uh, for cortana that did not work but for onedrive and other uh, useless services and application it works so overall i will say it still works in the leaked version of windows 11 i don't know if it will work in the upcoming release build of windows 11 or not so that was it for this video thank you for watching uh, if you like the video you can subscribe to the channel and yeah that was it goodbye